It mentioned in your referral that your mother has breast cancer, is that right? Yes, yeah, so she's currently being treated. She's really unwell. Um, she's had surgery, she's had chemo, she's had radiotherapy, she's going back in for more chemo. She's really, really poorly, yeah. So I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. It sounds like you're quite involved with her care. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing her a lot. Um, I, I go in, sit with her when she has her chemo, um, and yeah, we're very close. I'm, I'm very busy, very stressed. Um, I've been having a few palpitations recently, but you know, that's all just the stress of, you know, looking after my mum and what she's going through. So it's hard. So have you had those regularly? Yeah, I have. Um, actually over, over a few years, but I have a very stressful job. I'm a teacher, I look after little kids. Um, yeah, life's tough and yeah, I, I do get them quite regularly, but it, it's, it's stress, you know, I know that I, I'm doing an awful lot. It does sound like you have a lot on your plate I do, at yeah. the moment, mm -hmm. but probably still worth checking out with your GP. Yeah, I've not seen my GP mm -hmm. about them. But I would encourage you to do that because yeah. it could be something or nothing and better that you get good advice. So your mum, who has breast cancer, how old is she now? Uh, so she's 61 now, and she was diagnosed when she was 60. Okay. And had she had any other cancers before no, that? Nothing, no, she was really fit and well and healthy. And is she treated at this hospital? Yes, yes same hospital. And what's her name? Um, her name is Harriet. And her surname? Um, Brown. And has your mother got brothers and sisters? She's got one sister, yeah, and her sister died of breast cancer in her 70s. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm quite anxious because clearly there's the two of them with breast cancer and so clearly it's genetic, clearly I'm going to get it too. So I was just really worried that I was, so hence this coming to see you. I can understand why you're, you're anxious um, and it would be important for us to look at that in more detail to see if we can clarify your risk for you yeah. and, um, and help you manage that. And it mentioned in your referral that there might be some other cancers? Yeah, so my mum's mum died um, in her 40s and um, it was a gynaecological cancer. And since I read about the whole Angelina Jolie case where there was breast and ovarian cancer together in the family, um, I'm assuming that she must have had an ovarian cancer. So that's, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know too much about her date of birth or her details, but I can certainly get those for you. That so would you can be check really it out. helpful. Yes. And what was her name? Uh, Marjorie. Marjorie. And was that brown? She's or? brown as yeah, brown as well. Yeah. And are there any other cancers on your no, mother's side? No, nothing. It's a very small family. That. No, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just for completion. On your father's side of the family, uh, is your father still alive? No, he's died. Um, I, I really don't know anything about him or his history or anything. I mean, I know he had a heart attack. He died when he was 50. Um, but he, my parents were divorced and I really did not get on well with my dad at all. Um, okay. Don't think about him, nothing to do with him. So he's not on the scene at all. Okay. And is that the same for his family members? Do you know yeah. if he had brothers and sisters? Um, I really, he left us when, when we were really little, so I really don't know anything about his family. Just that he died um, young with a heart, something to do with his heart. Okay. But I could get you his, his date of birth and his details so that you could check that out if you that, wanted to. That would be helpful and then we can give you the clearest advice. Yeah, yeah. So it will be important for us to get some more information about the cancers in your family so we can figure out if you are at significantly increased risk and then give you advice about what possible 
means you have for managing that risk. Yeah. You did mention saying that you think you will get cancer. Yeah, it's pretty strong history, isn't it? So I'm pretty sure that I will, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just kind of need to prepare myself for when that happens. So would it be helpful if I told you at this point that cancer is very common and the majority of it isn't strongly hereditary, but we understand your concern and obviously we'll check everything out in your family to see if you are one of those people like Angelina Jolie, as you mentioned, that mm. might have an increased risk. But sometimes when we do that for families, we find that the risk isn't as high as they might have expected. So, you see, I'm, I'm very close to my mum and I really look like my mum and also I look very much like my aunt as well. And because we were just all so similar, just it feels, it really feels that I am going to get it. Um, so I've, I'm ready. I'm sort of prepared. So you feel anxious about yeah. getting cancer? Yeah. And hence the palpitations, you know, yeah, it's, it feels like it's, it's inevitable, really. So you feel that your concern about the family history is contributing to your own yeah. health at the yeah. moment. So all the more reason why getting some good advice about those symptoms would be useful. Yeah. Okay. So you go to your GP? I, I will go to my GP, yes, mm. I'll do that, yeah.